Hi friends, hope all are doing great. Today let us design ATM form. Okay. Microsoft Visual Basic. Select standard exe, then click on open button. A new project is created. Just increase the size of the form here. Okay. Add a label. Rename it as go to the caption option in properties window. Select the label. Go to the caption option, rename it as Welcome to ATM. Okay, write the text in caps. Then in properties windows, select alignment as center. Then if you want to increase the size of the text, just in font option, make the text as bold, then size as 24 then click on ok button if you want to apply the background color go to the back color and select whichever color you like you like to apply See, many options are available here if you want to apply the color to the form just click on the form select the form go to the back color of back color option in properties window then you can apply any of the color here then add a label rename the label as username then add a text box Then add one more label. Okay. Just add a frame here. First we'll add one frame here. We can rename this form as frame as login form. Then we will color this frame okay. Then inside of this frame, we'll add labels. And password. Rename this label as username. Remove it text one. Select the text one, text box, text text one. Remove this text one. Add one more label. Okay, rename it as password, add text box, okay, not label text box, Okay. Adjust the size. 
remove this text too then add buttons add buttons below the frame rename this button as submit then this button as cancel select both the buttons go to the font option make the text as bold click on ok button select these two labels just click on the label and control key then select this click on this second label then next go to the font option here select bold then ok ok next double click on submit button if text one dot text equals to double quotes of what username will give user zero zero one and text two dot text equals to zero one two three four then form two dot show okay if text one dot text equals to user zero zero one and text two dot text equal to zero one two three four then form two dot show else message box message boxes invalid username or password okay the next end if end sub then select the form one go to the design view here double click on cancel button here type it as end let us execute the form here the username is user 001 password is 01234 let us execute this here username user 001 password is 01234 okay we did not add the form to we will stop the execution here and add the form to go to the project option add form open okay now let us execute what is the username here user 001 password is 01234 then click on submit button okay if the username and password is matching it is redirecting us to form 2 if we give invalid username and password it will display an error message that invalid username or password how to hide this password just go to the design view select this password text box in properties window go to the password care option here select asterisk symbol then execute again username is user 001 password is 01234 see here the password is hidden password is not displayed here then if successful login it will redirect us to form 2 now let us design the form 2 just select form 2 option in project explorer this is the project explorer window 
to close this close this properties window the standard toolbar so this is the project explorer window this is property window this is toolbox close the toolbox just click here it will be displayed again select the form to go to the design view okay just increase the size of the form to here okay add a label rename the label as user details user details then align the text to the center in properties window select the font option then make the text as bold select the size 18 it's okay then apply the four color four color is applying the color to the text apply the background color in properties window go to the back color option then here if you want to apply the color to the form just click on the form select the form go to the back color here select whichever color you like any color you can select it's too dark select some other color okay add a label here or else we'll add one frame okay add a frame here you can rename the frame here as same user details will keep user details okay add the color to the form sorry frame whichever color you like you can add here okay then add a label rename it as username add a text box remove this text one then add a label here rename it as account number let us write the text in caps account number add a text box here Okay, resize the text box remove this text to then select this label and this label go to the properties window here font make the font style as bold and click on okay if you want to align the text center just go to the alignment option in properties window select center 
if you want to apply the back color go to the back color option in properties window you can select any color here okay then next is add buttons add four buttons Make sure the size of the text box, both the text box should be same and size of the buttons should be same. Okay, rename the button one as balance and query. Button two as pin change. Select the button, go to the properties window in caption option, rename the button. Then Third button as amount withdrawal. Then fourth button as exit. Okay. Just click on this button. Press the control key, click on all the buttons. Then in properties window, go to the font option. Make the text as bold. Click on OK button. Just double click on balance and query. Write the code here. If text one dot text equals to double quotes of if text one dot text double quotes of user zero zero one and text two dot text text equals to double quotes of zero one two three four five six seven eight nine okay then Then display the form three. Form three dot show. Okay, this is present form. Is which form? It is form two dot show. Presently, we are designing the form two. Then, if text one and text two are matching, then redirect to form three, or else. Message box invalid username or account number invalid username or account number. Then next and if. Okay, go to the design view, go to form two, then double click on this pin change. Okay, form four dot show. Then next, go to the design view, amount withdrawal. Form five dot show. Then go to the design view. 
click on this exit button here you write form one dot show if the user click on exit button it will redirect the user to form one now let us add the forms this is form three add form four add form five okay let us run the project click on start button here the username is what is the username here user 001 what is the password here which password we gave one two three four submit invalid username or password okay here the password is not password, account number. Okay, let us execute again. Stop the execution. Go to the form to design view. Okay. Form one. Here the username is user001 and the password is 01234. Okay, username is user001, password is 01234. Then click on submit button, it will redirect us to form 2. Here the username is user001, password is here not password account number account number is what zero one two three four five six seven eight nine then click on balance inquiry to redirect us to form three click on pin change and why what happened we have added all the forms yeah. just a second Go to the form two option here. Here the spelling is wrong. F O R M. F O R M. Form four dot show. Okay. Just run the project again. Here the username is user zero zero one. Password is zero one two three four. Then next click on submit button. Here the username is what? User 001 and the account number is 01234567789. Click on pin change. It will redirect you to form 4. Click on withdrawal. It will redirect you to form 3. Click on exit button. It will redirect you to form 1. I hope you understood the concept friends. Thanks for watching the video. Okay. In the next video, I will show how to design this form 3, form 4 and form 5. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great day.